Jason was eager to leave the city after the Netherbrain fell, although you remained for a ten day to help the wounded. Some of them accompanied you when you left. Their homes were rubble, and the promise of a sanctuary sheltered from the city was appealing. They helped to build the place you now call home, hidden from those who are not welcome, open to any who need shelter. One day, Halsin returns from a patrol of the borders with a letter held in his jaw. You read it to him as you scratch behind his ear. An invitation to a gathering of your friends and allies, those who stood with you against the Absolute. The gathering will not be in the city that you saved, though. It will be where your adventures together began. Thou wert called here, some from above, some below. For with thine bond, together thou hast kept the wheel of fate spinning when it threatened to halt. Though thou wert drawn far apart in the months after the collapse of the Absolute, tonight fate renews thy bond once more. Thou shouldst take care to preserve it. It is a great weapon wielded in the hand of good. Go. Know one another once more. The past made present. I'm glad for it. I was eager to attend tonight. Yet I cannot help but fear that it may be a mistake. Do you know what I speak of? All these months, and I haven't been away from what we built together. There's a whole community out in Thaniel's realm that has never known a day without our presence. Being away from it, I cannot help but worry how they will fare in our absence. I hope so. The children shall miss their bedtime tale tonight. Though, perhaps I can glean a few new stories from our friends here to make up for it. Tell me, are you happy with the path we tread together? I took you from a life of high adventure to one that can be described as, well, anything but. I thought perhaps that seeing everyone once again and hearing of all that they've been doing it might awaken some regret about the life we lead. You could have done anything, gone with anyone, yet you chose me. I am glad to hear it. Forgive an old fool in need of a little reassurance. I am still expecting to stir from the dream. You must be eager to speak to some of the others. I shall be fine. Do not allow me to keep you. I was eager to attend tonight, yet I cannot help but fear that it may be a mistake. Do you know what I speak of? Oh, to have your confidence. You must think me like a mother hen all these months, and I haven't been away from what we built together. There's a whole community out in Thaniel's realm that has never known a day without our presence. Being away from it, I cannot help but worry how they will fare in our absence. You are right, of course. What we have made shall outgrow us both, and, Oakfather willing, stand as our legacy. Tell me, are you happy with the path we tread together? I took you from a life of high adventure to one that can be described as, well, anything but. I thought perhaps that 
Seeing everyone once again and hearing of all that they've been doing, it might awaken some regret about the life we lead. You could have done anything, gone with anyone, yet you chose me. I am glad to hear it. <laughs> Forgive an old fool in need of a little reassurance. I am still expecting to stir from the dream. You must be eager to speak to some of the others. I shall be fine. Do not allow me to keep you. I was eager to attend tonight, yet I cannot help but fear that it may be a mistake. Do you know what I speak of? Of course. I have just become unaccustomed to free time, perhaps. I feel like I'm neglecting something all these months, and I haven't been away from what we built together. There's a whole community out in Thaniel's realm that has never known a day without our presence. Being away from it, I cannot help but worry how they will fare in our absence. I just hope the children get by without me there for their bedtime stories. Tell me, are you happy with the path we tread together? I took you from a life of high adventure to one that can be described as well, anything but. I thought perhaps that seeing everyone once again and hearing of all that they've been doing, it might awaken some regret about the life we lead. You could have done anything, gone with anyone, yet you chose me. <laughs> Forgive me. This past while has been so idyllic that I almost fear something must go wrong. A fear I shall overcome, trust me. We're amongst friends, in celebration. You must be eager to speak to some of the others. I shall be fine. Do not allow me to keep you. I was eager to attend tonight, yet I cannot help but fear that it may be a mistake. Do you know what I speak of? You are right. Perhaps I'm simply out of practice all these months, and I haven't been away from what we built together. There's a whole community out in Thaniel's realm that has never known a day without our presence. Being away from it, I cannot help but worry how they will fare in our absence. Then I shall take courage from your example. Tell me, are you happy with the path we tread together? I took you from a life of high adventure to one that can be described as, well, anything but. I thought perhaps that seeing everyone once again and hearing of all that they've been doing, it might awaken some regret about the life we lead. You could have done anything, gone with anyone, Yet you chose me. <laughs> you jest, but I caught the scent of some honeymead as we arrived. Even I may be tempted to indulge a little. It is a special occasion after all. Just haul me away should you find me bare-chested and singing the songs of my ancestors. You must be eager to speak to some of the others. I shall be fine. Do not allow me to keep you. I thought I would, but in truth, no. Roaming has lost its luster now that I have somewhere I truly belong. 
Perhaps my true nature was waiting to reveal itself with your aid. I just hope you share in my contentment. I am glad to hear it. Forgive an old fool in need of a little reassurance. I am still expecting to stir from the dream. You must be eager to speak to some of the others. I shall be fine. Do not allow me to keep you. By all means. I could get used to this. <laughs> you read my mind. The day I weary of those lips is the day I weary of life. Of course. Uh, seeing them free and happy may be my proudest achievement. And now they have more playmates than they could ever wish for. To make a child smile is to dabble with the power of gods as far as I'm concerned. Be sure to take your own advice. This is a special night for all of us. Hey, you made it! <laughs> now it really is a party. <laughs> you cannot bear to be apart from me, I see. Oh, no, perish the thought. I can barely imagine stooping to such barefaced pun mongering. <laughs> The children's sense of humor is rubbing off on me, perhaps. The balance of the world restored. The balance of these lives, mortal and otherwise, brought to account. Hear me, thou heroes, wastrels, friends. I have waited long to tell you these words. It is over. For now. Thou played thy part in weaving the fabric of fate itself. But for every thread you sewed, so did the gods unravel another. Sleep, rest, revel, but be ready. For thou mayst yet be needed. Until we meet again, I wish thee every possible fortune, health, wealth, love, and above all, problems worth solving. To you.